and after you are sure that you are in love with VLSI then again you need to decide is it analog or is it digital okay it is digital then again you need to select is it front end or it is back end okay that is front end then again you need to select i'll just throw out my view on one of the most asked question and that is how to select the domain in vlsi industry and i'll answer this through my example like how i choose my domain in vlsi industry and frankly speaking i had no control over choosing the domain because in my college and probably in maximum of the campus hiring companies they don't tell you that is it for a verification rule or validation rule or some other they simply tell you that hey it's a hardware engineering rule or probably they will signify that is it a digital rule or the analog rule so in the maximum time in a job description they don't say anything specifically if it is a digital role they will include everything which is available in digital or the analog it's all depend on your cv like they will go through your cv and if your cv is inclined to analog design then probably they will interview you for an analog design engineer or some other domain but in the analog and same is true for digital and same is true for it if it is a front-end domain or a back-end domain so now you will be asking okay i'm very much interested in verification uh, in the front-end design then how to build up my cv so that my cv got inclined toward that domain and i got a interview call from that domain only it's a very good question actually and you can align your cv toward that but as per me i will tell you that thing from this perspective you actually love the electronics you want to work on hardware right you want to be in vlsi and after you are sure that you are in love with vlsi then again you need to decide is it analog or is it digital okay it is digital then again you need to select is it front end or it is back end okay that is front end then again you need to select is it a validation or verification or something else so this is a hectic thing and as a fresher if you are coming from BTEC or if you are coming from MTEC then deciding these variables is very tough and it might be stressful also. So the question is what's the need of defining this variable? For example I haven't never decided any variable. I was like let me give me any job but I want to work with a top company or into the VLSI industry right and why is not so important because if you got a job and you got a validation job but this doesn't mean that you will start your career as validation engineer and you will end your career as a validation engineer only. In between you will get thousand of opportunity to change your domain in maximum of vlsi big company they all allow internal team changing so you can easily change from validation to verification or for, from front end to back end and also you can change from digital domain to analog domain and you can do anything because the fundamental for all the job are the same and that is your circuit knowledge your concept of ece your concept from the mtech so if the fundamental is there then it's just you need to know how the tool is working for that particular domain or some extra knowledge and which is not easy but not impossible to gain also so never ever stress yourself about deciding this variable like front end back end or validation or verification don't waste your time instead concentrate on doing some projects right for example recently i talked with one of my friend so he is in validation front-end validation and he wanted to change his domain he is not liking that one and i told him okay uh, i can see one opening is there in front end one of the team so you can come to this but he is not applying because he is still in a research mode because he wanted to change from validation to a domain where he will stay for lifelong but again if this is not a true thing if you don't love validation then just change it go to some other domain so as a fresher just start with any job in the vlsi and i'm sure probably you will love every domain here and if you don't like unfortunately then you can change it there is no issue nothing so after this video please stop stressing yourself out by deciding this variable just keep an eye on to your circuit theory very long little bit of coding and then some good projects simple yet the project which 
apply the concept you have learned and by this way you can really make into the VLSI industry don't think like in India verification have most of the opportunity so let me find out something which will give me edge over other in the verification domain frankly speaking there is no skill in BTEC or MTEC level which is aligned to verification or any other domain actually because we teach in this level only the fundamental which is the main base for any domain so if you ask me tell me a skill which is great for verification for me answer would be i don't know at least if you are a fresher if you are not a fresher and you want to change your career as experienced then probably there would be some tool or something which is important to apply for a experienced verification engineer so that's all for today so if you got some value from this video please don't forget to like it and i'll see you in the next video tata -ta.